Everything all right, little guy? What are you doing here? We've been driving for a long time and just needed to rest. Fine. Just don't stay too long. It's getting dark. How are you feeling, Mom? Much better, sweetheart. I'll check the car, and you try to get it started. Damn, it's gonna be hard to get out of here. Okay, Mitch, turn it on. Okay, Mom. You okay, Mom? Yes, don't worry. Oh, wow. Mom! <laughs> uh, it's all good, Mitch. <clears throat> Can you help us? What happened? It won't start up. Where's your dad? Not around. Will you help us, sir? My auto shop's pretty close. I'll give you all a tow. We got lucky, didn't we? We'll see about that. This is my son, Mitch. Thomas. Thanks again. You'll thank me later. How long will the repair take? Hard, hard to say. brought gas. Welcome! Their car is broken. I'm gonna take care of it now. Good evening. We don't want to bother you. Don't be silly. We love company, but we rarely have gas. What's your name, darling? Louise. This is my son, Mitch. I'm so glad Thomas has picked you up. My son is a good boy. That's so true. He stopped to help us. Where are you headed? Pretty far. To Louisiana. Oh, that's quite a ways. Hard to do without a car. What's waiting for you there? My father. Hmm. 
And where's your father, little boy? None of your business, lady. <laughs> Hush, Mitch. Oh He'll join us soon. I didn't know he was going to say Very that. well. Do come inside. Oh my gosh, this kid. I baked some cookies. are my granddaughters. Hi, what's your name? Mitch. I am Ada. Ida. Oda. Wanna play with us? Oda, Good idea, Ada. Ida. Go play together. And Ada. Oh, children. Their mother left when they were little. Okay. For no reason? Just like that? Just like that. One morning, she just packed up and went. I'm raising them with my son now, but he knows cars better than children. He's always been in a world of his own, but he's a good boy. Yes, you've already said that. I'm not sure how much time our good Lord has left for me, but it won't be forever. The girls need a mother. Someone to shelter them from the world and, and push them to do their chores. Major problem. Can't do much without light. We are without power. A tornado blew all the power lines down. You'll sleep in our guest room. In the morning, I'll see what I can do. We don't want to impose. Oh, stop it, darling. We love guests. Besides, you don't have a choice, do you? I'll lock up the shop now. You never know who's lurking around on a night like this. A night like what? Doc, let's go to your room. I'll show you around. Okay, what does that mean? Thank you. Oh, You're very kind. Kind of cryptic. Oh, don't mention it. You want to play hide and seek with us? In the dark? You scared? Are you scared? I don't like the dark. If you win, it will get bright. Each of us will hide in a different room. You have to find us one by one, say the name, and light a candle if you get it right. Close your eyes and count to ten. One, two, three, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. See, I would have been worried if all of their hair was like blonde. Because then it would remind me of, uh, children of the corn. Okay. Gotcha. Not so fast. You still have to say my name. Oh, gosh. That's right. Oh. Okay. It was who in the what? And what it was the red haired girl, the checkered dress. Was it Ada? Yes, because that's the only okay. Your name is Ada. Written. Good. We got the other two. Okay, awesome. Please let me remember the other two. All right, we have to be... Ooh. Keep your mouth shut. You don't want me to punish 
do you? Oh, gosh. So who's in here? He didn't lock the mother in. But no, that's just, he didn't lock the mother in. Okay, so before the game started acting up, we need to go in here. Oh, do we go to her? Yeah, let's go to her first. So the gray dress girl was... Can we go to her? I guess we have to go in the room first. Okay. The red dressed girl... Gotcha! We have Ada. <laughs> Oh hey, my gosh. Okay, what happened? The red dress girl was. I've heard him. What? Who? From the cellar. The gray dress. You're putting was me on, Ida. right? <laughs> Did Ida have red hair? Right. It's okay. Nothing's happening, alright? Give me your hand and we'll go. Ada. We can't come out until you guess our names. Ida. Those are the rules. Otherwise, we'll be punished. Ada, Ida, and Oka. Hey, it's just a game, but okay. Alright, who is this? Is this Olga or Ida? Alright, you can finish guessing. I think it's Oda. Oda had the red. Did I s red dress? And I remember saying red hair. We're about to see. Your name must be Oda. Yes, oh, you remembered. Thank goodness. You can light my candle now. Oh, okay. Ada. Olga. So Ada's left. All right, we're on our way. We are on our way. It's still gonna make there you guess. are. You found me. But now you have to say my name. Okay, sure. Your name is... Just... Oh my gosh. We did Ada. We did Olga. So it has to be Ida, right? Ida. Your name is Ida. Please don't make me stop. Yes. Oh, jeez. Thank you. You can light my candle now. You made it. Tomorrow, we'll play another game. No, please. Tomorrow, I'm not. leaving. You never know. Who lives behind What's the store? What's with these cryptic sayings? Nobody. I saw your dad coming out from behind the store and talking to somebody. Should we tell him? A yes, ghost sure. lives in the cellar. A ghost? Are you sure it's not a monster? I knew we wouldn't believe. Nobody is allowed in there. Your dad was there. Dad is allowed. The ghost tells him to bring things. In return, he won't harm us and our grandma. But sometimes, at night... You can hear terrible sounds in the cellar. Dinner time, kids! Okay, so it wasn't the mother. You know, sonny boy. Your mom and I have bonded. I feel it. Don't you, honey? You're very kind, ma'am. You remind me of someone, but you're much prettier. Isn't she pretty, Thomas? I hope this isn't like a Texas... Hi, Tom. George. Max Hunter's farm, 11 o'clock. We've got a job to do. I'll be there. Like he picks up One more thing. Travelers. Would you happen to have seen a blue Cadillac around? They say it was parked by the road earlier. No. Didn't see it. Okay. See you later. We're gonna have some fun. Oh my 
God. Darling, if you were single, my Tom would have been a perfect match for you, right? Mom, can you please shut up? By the way, why aren't you wearing your wedding ring? This turkey is very good. Why is my confidence going down? Okay. Did you hear that? Is that the ghost? A ghost? Well, you're too old for ghost stories. I heard you have to bring him all kinds of stuff. Yeah, traps for the damned rats. And once, a rattlesnake bit our dog. What happened to him? He died. The rattlesnake or the dog? <laughs> the dog died. The snake went away, Mitch. And you, snotty girls, I'm going to punish you for scaring our guests. They didn't do anything. Uh, how do you make this turkey? I'll teach you, honey. It's a family recipe. Uh, thank you for this lovely dinner. You're welcome. We love having guests. We're going to bed. I can barely stand up. Mom is ill. Ill with what, honey? Uh, nothing serious. Just a cold. Hmm. Breakfast at seven. Uh, thanks again for everything. Good night. I will be gone at five. Mom, this place is kind of strange. What's on your mind? When he was walking out of the cellar, I heard Mr. Thomas threaten someone with punishment if they don't keep quiet. And later, the sisters told me about a ghost who lives there. And then at dinner, we heard noises under the floor. Something evil's happening here, That's Mom. That's right, Mitch. Figure it out, buddy. Maybe we're just imagining things. But my intuition tells me something is not quite right. How do you know? Shh. Does she want to open it? Quiet in there. Give me two choices, leave or investigate. I gotta I check this I out or I won't leave. be able to sleep. I'm coming with you. No, Mitch. Stay here and don't come out, no matter what. Lock the door. When I knock three times, you can let me back in. Mom, I'm afraid of this ghost. I don't want to be alone. Sweetheart, we can't spend the whole night trembling under the covers. The world shouldn't change you. You have to change the world. Got it? Got it. You're a smart boy. The cellar door is locked. I'll look for the key. He's ready. The Bible and our gun. Find the cellar key. Some old suitcase, but no keys here. Spoons, knives, and forks. Quite dirty. Oh, 
These must be the keys. About to join them, you nosy cunt. Okay. Is that the clan? What? What am I missing? Find the bag. Mitch, go find a piece of rope to tie him with. I just hope this rope will hold him. This must be the cellar key. Are we going in there? Now, yeah. I forbid Mitch to exit. Explain you don't want to put him in danger anymore. No, Mitch, I'm going. You go back to the room, and this time you stay there. You haven't learned anything. That's rough. I would Apparently, you learned things that scare me. me. And I taught you all of that. What's wrong with that? Mitch, please. Okay, Mom. I'll stay. Lock the door. Yeah, I would probably take him with me. Thomas and his friends. Oh my gosh, okay. There you are, you bastard. I don't know this dude, but to complete a perfect family picture, all we need is dear granny. Hello? Who are you? Oh 
my god. What's going on? Careful. He's coming back. He must run away. When he finds out... Easy. He won't hurt you now. Mm. Let us go. Please. Oh my gosh, there's more... Whoa! How long has he kept you here? Uh, I don't know. A few years. <sighs> and those little girls? They are our daughters. We could only hear them playing above our heads. His their father. Wow. He kidnapped me. When I was jogging by the highway. He entered our home, hit my dad with a hammer. Is... is my dad alive? I had a date with him at a bar and woke up in this cage. Why didn't anybody try to find us? <clears throat> What's wrong with you? I'm okay now. Let's go upstairs. He'll kill us. No, he won't be up for a while. What do we do with him? Don't untie him no matter what. Call the police. They are his buddies. Even his buddies won't ignore it. But if you're scared, call your local newspaper. You bitch! Oh gosh. Oh my god. I had no choice. What the Still alive. We'll take care of that. I'll be going now. No way. Do you happen to know Max Hunter's farm? We're bailing out. Who was in the cellar? I'll tell you on the road. Wow, man. What do you need Mr. Thomas's costume for? Now we'll play the ghost. Uh oh. Should we make things right before Louisiana? Yeah. Make yeah, make it right make it right um okay so i don't mean to break the immersion we're going into over like a half an hour and i don't want this to run too long but i promise there's going to be yes, another Mom. episode let's make things right, right. After this because things so i did teach you something after all really heating up look at her all right yeah i'm gonna uh end it here i don't want this episode to run too long and i am definitely gonna film the next part like right now so i will see you next episode thanks for tuning in